Right now, I'm gonna show you how to use a plugin called Review Meta and their website to analyze listings on Amazon, variation listings, to determine which variation is selling the best, and also in combination with some other plugins, how you can determine approximately how many units they're selling every month as well. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Todd Welch here from The Entrepreneur Adventure and today I'm gonna to show you Review Meta, which is a website and a plugin for your browser that allows you to analyze the reviews on Amazon. Now, what it mainly is for is for analyzing to see if reviews are potentially fake, but what I use it for is to help me determine which variations on a listing are selling the best. By analyzing the reviews and determining which variations variations have the most reviews is going to directly correspond to which variations are selling the most. First things first, down below, make sure you click on that subscribe button and then click the little bell to get alerted to more videos just like this to help you in your Amazon business, whether you're doing wholesale, private label, retail arbitrage, whatever it is, subscribe and click the little bell to get notified. At number two, there is gonna be links down below to Review Meta and this plugin, as well as some of the other plugins that I'm going to talk to you about. Now, Review Meta is free, so make sure you click that down below and install that plugin to use it. Some of the other plugins I'm gonna talk about are gonna be affiliate links, so like Jungle Scout and RevSeller, as well as Key those links are going to be down below as well and if you buy those products or plugins through those links I'll get a small cut of that at no additional cost to you and it's going to help me create more videos like this for free to help you in your Amazon business so I'd really appreciate that but without further ado let's go ahead and jump in I'm going to show you review meta so the first thing you're going to want to do is click the link down below and install the review meta plugin um, alternately, if you're on their website, you can click on browser extensions and you can install that on Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and even Safari. So whatever browser you prefer to use. And once you have that installed, it's going to bring up a little icon right up here in the top of your browser. It's a small blue R. Um, and when you hover over it, it says review meta. And when you go to an Amazon listing, that review meta is going to brighten up because that's telling you that it's able to get information from this Amazon page. Now, right now it shows a dash right here, which means this page hasn't been analyzed recently. Otherwise, it might show a number there, which is review meta's uh, calculated review score for this product. Um, what it does is it's going to rip out uh, reviews that it thinks might be fake so that uh, you're not looking at potentially fake reviews. Um, but when you're on a review or on a listing like this, you can see there's 814 reviews on this product. And if we click on other variations here, it stays at 814 reviews. So let's say you're going to you open an account with Simple Mills and you're going to sell their product. How do you know which variation is selling well? Is it one, which flavor is it and which size is it? We've got a bunch of sizes down here um, that it potentially could be. So how do you know which one's selling well, which ones aren't maybe selling at all? And the best way to do that is to analyze these reviews and Review Meta is a free way to do that. So what I do is go ahead and just click on the Review Meta button there, and it takes you over to Review Meta's website and it analyzes the information. Now, since this is a new listing that they haven't analyzed, you see it went through there and it analyzed it and now it pulled up the information. Um, if this had already been analyzed in the past, it's just gonna bring you right to this page. It's not gonna go through that little scroll bar that was going across. And what you're going to want to do is look at this last updated. And if that is maybe more than a month or so in the past, you're going to want to have it check for updates. Um, now, since this is just recently updated, there's no way to check for updates again. 
Uh, but if it was an older version, it would show an update option here. So here's one that Review Meta already had data for, saying you can see right here is the refresh report, which since the last update here is February 7th, that's a couple months ago, I would wanna go ahead and click refresh report to get the latest data. So when you do that, you click it, and then you can click begin report refresh, and it re-grabs that information. Now when it's done, oops, something went wrong. So if this happens, occasionally it does this. So what you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and refresh the page and now it's reinitializing again. I always like to refresh the page after you do a refresh, even if it looks like it went through properly. I always do a refresh because for whatever reason, sometimes it doesn't get the proper information. Um, let's go back to the one that we were looking at here. And so once you have the information refreshed to maybe within the last month, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on the you know, refresh this page. As you see, now there's lots of different information here, so it wasn't getting the correct stuff. Um, product variations is what I was looking for, so I can click on see the product variations, and now it breaks down the reviews by the variations that it's able to find. So you can see here that the very first one, Simple Mills Almond Flour Crackers Fine Ground Sea Salt 6 Count actually has 35 reviews. So that is the highest review count that it is finding. And as if I scroll down here, you can see it has all of the other variation listings that have reviews. If they don't have reviews at all, they're not gonna show up here. So this is only gonna show the variation versions that do have reviews. Um, so what I can see here is that the best selling one is this fine ground sea salt six count. And then the second best selling one is rosemary and sea salt six count. Now there are a lot of reviews that are not showing up here. You can see that Whoops, we have a total of, oops, lost that page, let me go back to it here. So you can see here we have 814 reviews, um, but the top listing here only has 35, and if we scroll down, all of these added up are not gonna equal that 835. So what's happening here is a lot of these reviews are just on the generic listing. So what's called the parent. So the parent is the main listing that all of the variations are under. So unfortunately on this listing, the reviews are mostly on that parent ASIN, uh, which is, means that we're not gonna be able to get a really good analysis of this. But what I can see for sure here is that this 35 reviews on this sea salt, that one is definitely the best selling. And then you have another one here, rosemary and sea salt. Um, another one, fine ground sea salt, rosemary and sea salt. And then we get down to the farmhouse cheddar. So we can definitely see on this listing that sea salt sells the best. Then we've got some cheddar, cheddar. So that one is selling okay. Um, and then down from there, just a few reviews. So this one is gonna be rather difficult, but it's gonna tell you for sure that sea salt sells the best. Rosemary and sea salt sells second best, and farmhouse cheddar sells maybe third best. So you can go off of that and at least get an idea potentially of how many uh, you could sell. Uh, but let's find a listing that might be a little bit better here. Okay, so here is another listing that I found. This is for Timex Iron Man. You can see it's got 2,948 reviews and lots of different color variations down here. So if you open an account with this, which ones sell the best? So let's go ahead and click the review meta and brings me over here. You can see the report, we can refresh that here. So I'm gonna do that, let that refresh, get the latest information. Again, I like to reload the page. So now we have 16 product variations with reviews. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see the very first one has 1,175 reviews. Then we drop down to 417, 
350, 327, and so on. So this one is getting the most reviews. And if you click on that, it opens up a new tab, brings you to that variation. So you can see that variation is the black, gray, orange accent. Um, so let's say you're gonna make an order how would you determine approximately how many of that is selling? So I like to use a plugin called Jungle Scout, which uh, is gonna tell us how many units this is guesstimating it's selling per month. Um, now, unfortunately, Review Meta opens up in smile.amazon, which is a donation version of Amazon, and Jungle Scout doesn't work on that. So I'm gonna jump back over to the main one and make sure I get this ASIN. So this is your ASIN. That is the unique number that Amazon gives a listing. Um, and we want the black, gray, orange accent, which is the one that I opened up by it. The ASIN is the same. So now if I open up Jungle Scout, and if you wanna learn how to use Jungle Scout, I'm gonna have a link down below for my review that I've done of Jungle Scout. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but you can see Jungle Scout here is telling us that on average, uh, or its guesstimate is that this is selling the entire listing, not just the variation, the entire listing is selling 3,634 units per month. So what I'm gonna do is get a calculator here and use that number in conjunction with the reviews. So I'm gonna bring this over here. See if I can get all this to show on the screen here. So we've got 2,948 reviews here, right? And this one variation is getting 1,175 reviews. If I divide that by the total reviews on the listing, which is 2,948, that is going to give me a percentage number. So this is 0.39. I'm going to round down. I like to be conservative. So 0.39, uh, which is 39% of the sales on this listing are being sold for this one variation. So now if I take the total monthly sales, 3634 times 0.39, that is gonna tell me that this variation is selling approximately 1,417 units per month. Um, and that is this one variation here. Um, so that's how I would figure out approximately how many units that one is selling per month. Um, now let's go to the next one here. Uh, one thing that I like to do is if you put your mouse over the link or the image, down in the bottom left down here, you're gonna see it shows the ASIN. So PZM, and that will help you uh, find which one you're looking at as well, or you can just click on it and bring it over to the variation. But what happens sometimes, if this was a color and size variation, Amazon would not bring you to the exact size. For whatever reason, the link does not select the size. So in that case, you would have to use the hover method and look in the bottom left-hand corner to see what the ASIN is to find the correct size that you're looking for. Um, but in this case, it brought us right to it. Um, so the second best variation selling is black and dark blue. So again, we can use that same method with the calculator that I just did. Uh, so clear that. And we are, we've got, how many was that? 417. So 417 reviews divided by the total amount of reviews, which you're going to find right here. 2948. So that one is selling approximately 14%. Jungle Scout, again, is saying we're selling approximately 3,634 units. So 3,634 times the 
0.14, the 14%. So that one is getting an estimated 508 sales per month. So in that case, you'd have a better idea on how many units you need to order if you wanted to have like a rolling 30 days. Usually I try to keep about 30 days worth of inventory in Amazon. Now, if this is your first order, you're probably not gonna wanna order 508, maybe order half that, like 250, or maybe even 200, or 100 if you wanna be on the conservative side uh, to make sure that when you get it in there, everything is selling properly, because these are all guesstimates, um, so you're gonna to wanna to be conservative and make sure you're ordering the proper amount. But that is how I use the plugin Review Meta to analyze approximately how many units particular variation is selling. Now some other plugins that you can use, if you've seen this here, this is a plugin called Review Meta, which gives you some information here. Like if I can buy this watch for 20 bucks, it's gonna tell me that my profit after Amazon fees here is 683. And you can see the breakdown down below when you hover over this for the different fees. It gives you the ROI percentage, which I usually look for at least 30% ROI, preferably 40 or 50%, um, and at least $3 net. So this is a really good plugin for analyzing. Also has this variation breakdown here, which you can view uh, the different variation information as well with Review Meta. And then also you may have seen this Keepa graph, which I'll have a link for my review of Keepa down below as well, but great graph to give you historical information on sales rank, um, price that it's been sold at, whether Amazon's selling at, on it and things like that. So check that out as well. So that is Review Meta, a great plugin for analyzing reviews and helping you determine how much a variation is selling. Again, all those links are down below as well as my reviews for Keepa, Review Meta, Jungle Scout, and lots of other stuff while you're down there. Uh, make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notified or you can click right here to subscribe and check out some other awesome videos that I think you're gonna like right over here. This is Todd Welch with The Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling, everybody.